Hello world, it's John Pinto, your roving realtor, Bon Vivant video blogger, and I am here with Rafael Betances from Home Guard, Home Inspections, Home Warranties, uh, NHD, Natural Hazard Disclosures. How you doing, Rafael? I'm doing great, John. Uh, finally, nice to get uh, you know out here in Go Winery. Uh, it's a dream to be out here. So, what do you think of Eagle Nook Winery? Your first time here. Tell them, tell me your impressions. It won't be my last. I'll keep it short. <laughs> oh, yeah? uh -huh. It will not be my last. Oh, good, excellent, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. And and here comes the lovely Stephanie. I got pulled away for a moment. Lovely Stephanie, are you going to get him framed? You want to socially socially distance? I have to be socially distance. Especially a little bit to the right, a little bit to the right. <laughs> there you go. Look at everybody. Look at. <laughs> I think you could get between those two barrels. That's about six yeah, feet away, I isn't it? I mean, I isn't would it? Be, but I couldn't uh, uh, <laughs> get in there. Okay, hold on here. Hold on. There we go. Uh, okay, there we go. Are we you got. Drinking we we got Raphael in frame. We got the lovely uh, Stephanie uh, plus the uh, mask, and we have those beautiful stained glass doors and the membership lounge behind us. Stephanie, can you tell us a little bit about what? lies beyond, beyond those doors the world may never know um no it's uh it's our membership lounge it's fully renovated uh old train car uh, 20s style very classy um lots of high-end uh natural materials marbles wood books all that fun stuff so it's gonna be fun once we finally get to open it up when do you think us members and guests may be able to partake of such a lovely environment well, we'll see if we can stay in the orange, if we can possibly get going on that, or uh, maybe maybe next year sometime. We'll see. Okay. Well, I'm hoping it's sooner than that. And in the meantime, I'm going to let uh, Raphael be the Vanna White of wine tasting today and grab that white wine and get it in frame here for us. Uh, there, Look at that. Oh, he is... Professional. Hey. Can, we, can we get him a job no, around here? So, Stephanie, can you tell us a little bit about the Blancano? Tell uh, us about that wine. Yes, so it's a blend of Marsan, Roussan, and Viognier, um, all grown here on the property. A little bit of new French oak on there. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty subtle white wine, um, but with a lot of good acidity in there. It's great on its own. It's great with a form of appetizers. Um, really good with seafood, too. Very good. And, uh, you know, being the perfect woman that you are, being able to cook and you like baseball, which is basically the perfect woman. Exactly. Uh, what would you uh, pair that Blancano uh, with? Um, I like it with a roast chicken. It's ah. easy. Now what kind of seafood would you pair it with? A uh, fattier fish. Gotcha. So salmon, it goes really well with, it even goes with some lighter white fish. Fish tacos are really good with it too. You just want it, you, you want to pair it with something that's not too bland. Okay, you I really like the ocean, it. so yeah. I, I'd rather the ocean than the... Of course, the you're from an island. You're from an island. Exactly. Scallops, <laughs> seared scallops with it. Little That's something what... a little fatty. Now, Give Stephanie, by the way, if uh, Francis is going to put together a baseball or a softball team, uh, Raphael and uh, is your huckleberry, along with the rest of his huckleberries, oh. Oh, for putting together a bunch of ringers. I just put them together. I can't play. I'm done. You're <laughs> done? You're, you're retired? <laughs> you're retired? Very good. Okay, so we tasted the Blancano. Then the second wine, can you figure out which one is the Zimmendel? Zin. Yep, right here. Tell us, uh, go ahead. Uh, oh, look at you. Look at you. So uh, what can you tell us about the Zimmendel, Stephanie? Uh, it's a blend of mostly Zimmendel, a little Petite Syrah, and some Primitivo, too. Um, it's definitely not your average California Zin. It's a little bit more jammy. It's a, or excuse me, a little it's, less it's, jammy. It's a little less jammy. It's a little more tart and fresh. Um, it's it's just a very sophisticated wine that's still very um, easy drinking and uh, not superficial. Uh, it's one of our favorites as a portfolio because it's just it's an easy drinking from Tuesday night to Saturday night, depending on a takeout pizza. Yeah. Or a fancy Italian dish. I was going to say, is it looks Best like friend. it would go great with pizza. Oh, yeah. Right. Sausage and pepper sandwich? Sure. Very Even good. No. Broccoli rabe with uh, sausage with some orecchietti now with a little off. pecorino romano. It's my southern <laughs> Italian roots coming through. Uh, very good. And uh, there is a history on uh, the uh, Panino Zimandel, but we'll save that for another 
uh, tasting uh, or video, I should say. And then uh, the uh, next one, uh, can you model it, uh, Raphael? Yeah. Go ahead, give us a model. Oh, look at that, Raphael. You're doing a great job. And uh, this is the Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet. 2017. Exactly. What can you tell us about this? Uh, it's our more opulent Napa Valley Cabernet. So you're going to get a lot more of the structure on this wine um, than the Rubicon, although the Rubicon does hold a lot of that structure as well. Um, this to me is kind of like quintessential Napa drinking. It's fruit forward, it's got a little bit more tannin on the palate, it's going to age beautifully, um, but if I'm going to steakhouse, I'm bringing this wine. I, I understand that as a member, if somebody out there wants to become a member, call Stephanie and become a member, uh, you get 25% off and you only pay $48.75 for that opulence or something like that? For uh, for the Cabernet? Yeah. 75. 75 minus 25? No, uh, it's 100 minus 25. Ah, okay, so it's a little bit more opulent than I thought. We are, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the Zinfandel. Yeah, good wine, right? But the Zinfandel, exactly. the Zinfandel. <laughs> the Zinfandel comes out to be like 36. Uh, yeah, 48, the uh, member's 36, and, and that's pretty opulent too that, for I a mean, Zinfandel. It's a great everyday kind of drinking wine. And the Blancano, uh, uh, as I like to call the white wine for red wine drinkers, Absolutely. Uh, how much do uh, does the retail public pay versus members uh, for the Blancano, for that opulence? It runs at 65, um, and it'll put you back about 49, 48 for the members. Well, that's a lot of opulence for $49 for a member. Your words, not mine. <laughs> Okay, and now uh, we are on to the star of the show. Uh, our model, Raphael, will be displaying and revealing the uh, 2017 Rubicon. Yeah. So a lot of difference between this wine and the Cabernet, even though they're both Cabernet-based. Um, this one, is you're going to find it's a lot more full-bodied. Uh, it's a lot greener, too. Um, and we're kind of going more for a Bordeaux style with this wine uh, because we want it to age. We, we make fine wine here, not, you know, kind of the wine that you pull off the shelf and drink it within two hours. So we always recommend that you put these wines down, and this one especially, because although it tastes very smooth and luxurious now, it really does get better with time. Um, and this is, you know, the Cabernet is the wine I bring to the steakhouse. This pairs beautifully with those kind of classic Cabernet pairings, but it, to me it's so rich and so full and complex that I just sometimes want to just enjoy a glass by itself. Because um, it really is kind of, it, it starts to evolve as, as you drink it. And, that's and, why and I must it. say, I, we, we had some of this when we first walked in. And uh, it's, it's very rich. And, and you, you're enjoying your cup of wine when you're, you know, sipping on this. So. Indeed, indeed. And also, um, regarding the Rubicon, if I am correct, I think you're still selling the Library 2010 Demi's, which I like. Are you still selling those? I, I, there's a possibility that we are completely sold out of those as of last week. As of last week. So I can double check. Okay, that to me that's the has always been the low hanging fruit when you can buy those Rubicon Demi's at fifty dollars a bottle. Yeah, those those specials are um, when they come out, they're really exciting, and so they often go quick. I well, I think I bought sixty four bottles or yeah. some crazy amount. Uh, now, in the meantime, I did see a member benefit come across my email this morning. I think you're selling the 2014 750 Cabernet Sauvignons for 50 bucks. Did so, I see that? Yeah, so uh, so they were a gift in our most recent shipment, the 2014. And so as a perk of the membership, you, there's, a, there's a, a grace period where you can reorder the wines that you got in your shipment at an extended discount of 30% instead of 25 So with the discount, those come out to be $50. Is there a minimum amount that you need to buy to get the $50 per yeah. bottle? One. That in, And uh, tell us uh, what you think about the 2014 England Le Cabernet Sauvignon. It's incredible. And how we would, made it. How might it be incredible? Well, it's um, it, it, 2014 is one of those kind of quintessential vintage years, although we had very little rain of the drought. Um, it really is a quite uh, opaque blend of, of beautiful Cabernet, some Petit Verdot and, and Merlot in there. Um, and so it really does kind of grow in the glass as you drink it, but it's one of those wines that you can open up. You don't really need to decant it because it's so good off the bat. But as you kind of swirl it, enjoy it over the night, it really does kind of grow on you a little bit more. Um, it does age it will age quite a bit longer, 
but we're noticing that those 2014s, 2013s, and 12s, as far as the Cabernets go, are really tasting really well right now. So. Excellent. At, at the risk of uh, sounding like a white Zimmendel drinker, uh, I <laughs> the, the alarm hasn't gone off yet. Not yet. Uh, I, I find that the 2014 Cabernet are robust enough for people to be satisfied uh, with uh, drinking uh, Rutherford Cabernet with a good steak, but I think it's versatile enough where it's just as food friendly as a uh, uh, Russian River Pinot Noir. It's got that kind of acidity. It does. I mean, our Cabernets do. Uh, you know, we, we are arranging on the side more of Bordeaux style wines and so we are picking a little bit earlier than most people in the valley therefore we do have that acidity behind us. Um, our Cabernets tend to be more versatile as far as a food palette goes but at the end of the day Cabernets pair great with you know those kind of known pairings. Um, Pinot of course is going to be a little bit more versatile because of the, the lighter bodied in it um, but if you want to enjoy you know a Cabernet with you know something a little bit lighter go for it. It's going to be great and like you said the acidity is going to keep it up. I think this uh, the 2014 Cabernet would uh, be great with uh, steak tartare. Well most things oh, yeah. are great with steak tartare. <laughs> so, I, I reiterate my initial remark that Stephanie is the perfect woman. She cooks, she likes steak tartare and she likes baseball. Spreadable meats. <laughs> <laughs> Spreadable ones. meats. We're now, Gates. now we're in David Gates territory for uh, sure. Oh yeah. Very good. Well, thank you, Stephanie, really for imparting all of your knowledge. It's the least I can do. It is my job. And I can't wait until we untether you from the mask, so we can get the full verbal assault by Stephanie. How do you know you didn't already get it today? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the uh, the cheese with them too. Thank you very much. The Excellent. Chef has prepared everything for you. So very good. Enjoy. Thank you. And uh, Raphael, uh, before we're, uh, we depart, let's uh, multitask uh, and uh, address the issue of uh, broker managers in the Bay Area uh, taking advantage of and partaking of everything that HomeGuard has to offer, whether it's all the videos, uh, the PDFs, the items on the website, um, uh, you coming in and talking to the members, uh, to the realtors when they are convening in one place after COVID-19. Uh, what can you tell us uh, about making life easy on broker managers and providing plenty of content for their salespeople? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, every, it, it's no it's it's no secret to everybody that you know every everyone has moved onto a virtual world, whether you like it or not, with with the situation. Um, in the globe, right? So uh, we are at HomeGuard looking for ways to keep you guys involved and active when it comes to uh, all you need to know, talking inspections and, and, and home warranty and NHDs. So we are looking for the ways of, uh, of filling those gaps of not being able to show up to your office and, and give you that, that warm uh, visit that we usually do. Now I am going to really motivate all the broker managers in explaining to them that if you have a company baseball team or softball team, if you want to bribe Raphael, uh, all you need to do is give him some business, and in exchange, he will definitely play second base or shortstop for your baseball or softball team. And, uh, you know, I, you haven't really given me a straight answer. Do you have an entourage? Do you have a first baseman, a third baseman, a left fielder, a catcher, a pitcher that you can bring or are you the Lone Ranger? Look, as long as it's an adult league where I'm not gonna have to run and I can just jog, I think I'm all right. But if, if I'm gonna have to give too much effort, then I don't wanna pull something. Okay, you know? <laughs> so, so you have knee and hamstring issues. I do have hamstring issues, but- You're, uh, you're past your prime. Oh yeah, I'm washed. <laughs> well, let, let me put it to you this way. I think, I think that Raphael and his entourage passed their prime are probably much better baseball and softball players than most realtors at their peak. You know, I would join a realtor team. That's I, 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 <laughs> There you go, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, so very good. So, Raphael, if uh, people want to order you, uh, uh, contact you to order roof termite home inspections or to start uh, making a library or accessing your library of all the PDFs and videos, 
or book uh, a speaking engagement, uh, how do they contact you? Absolutely. Uh, you guys can feel free to call me or text me at 707-616-5762 or you can email me at r a uh, r a b e t a n c e s. That's r my last name betances at homeguard.com. R betances at homeguard.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're going to do our best to finish these five, uh, uh, these fine wines, yes. four in front of us, uh, in the next five minutes. And uh, thank you all for tuning into the video, and we will see you on the next video. See you guys.